welcome back again so in the previous video we have covered on what is science like versus engineering so now uh, in this particular video like we are going to see about the difference or like comparison between eye versus camera okay so uh, whenever uh, i hope most of you nowadays like are using a camera okay either it can be like a mobile camera or it can be from a like a, a uh, digital camera DSLR okay so we have used like various types of camera in the recent days so the usage of uh, this cameras okay either a mobile or DSLR camera is like very familiarized uh, to us okay so and sometimes when we don't have the camera we try to capture most of the moments and we would have thought okay so we couldn't be able to take a snap of this particular moment uh, but we could be able to see that particular moment okay which is actually stored in our brain okay so likewise we have this uh, camera and this our eye okay so through which we capture all our moments actually so now we are trying to uh, compare or like get a relation between these two uh, things that is our eye as well as the camera okay so we have like put upon like few parts which is like uh, common between these two things that is eye versus camera okay so first we'll start with the uh, lens okay so lens is the important uh, object okay or the area uh, uh, through which all the uh, images have been like captured okay or getting focused on okay so if you take in the eye okay so you have a lens which usually focuses the light onto the retina okay so the retina part which is going to view the object needs a light okay to get focused on okay similarly if you go for a camera okay so there also you have a thing called as lens okay so there are like different types of lens available so in that if you see one thing very well okay so that is this lens is used to focus light onto the photosensitive surface okay at the back of the camera usually in the back of the camera there will be a photosensitive surface where the uh, focus light is uh, passed down and this can be either be a photographic film in olden days uh, they used to use a film okay where they will develop the film later on to get a image okay but now we are going with a memory card or like more advanced things okay so this either can be a photographic film or a ccd that is a charge coupled device okay so you have a lens in both these things which actually does almost the same job in both the eye and camera okay second thing is ciliary muscles in our eye okay so what is the role of the ciliary muscle so we have the ciliary muscle in our, around our eye so which usually stretch or like slacken the suspensory ligaments to adjust the shape of the lens okay if you want to uh, focus on something that is very close okay or if you want to uh, zoom in something which is very very in the longer area okay so at that time your ciliary muscle plays the role of this uh, adjusting your ligaments surrounding your eye okay to adjust the shape of the lens to view that particular object in a very uh, clear or uh, clarified manner okay so similarly in your uh, camera you have a thing called as focusing screw so those who have used the ciliary muscle you would have come across this particular thing called as uh, focusing screw okay so what is this uh, focusing screw is about so uh, this focusing screw actually what it does it allows the user to adjust the focus okay for nearer or like a distance objects okay same thing what our ciliary mus uh, muscles do uh, does in our eye same thing is done by this focusing screw okay it's just going to zoom in zoom out okay so if you want to see a closer object you will just zoom out if you want to see a longer distance object you will be like zooming in okay so you would have seen like 2x 3x 4x zoom when you're using even a mobile phone so this is nothing but a focusing screw okay which is almost similar to our ciliary muscles now third part in our eyes is called as iris okay so this iris usually is to adjust the amount of light entering into the eye through the pupil okay so it's going to adjust the amount of light that is iris okay so if you go and see the same thing in camera you have a thing called as aperture okay so this aperture 
just the same job it's going to allow the user to adjust the amount of light entering the camera in a different light condition okay you would have seen there is thing uh, uh, to like night mode so a different uh, environment where you want to take a photograph this aperture is used to adjust the lightning of that uh, area okay next one is eyelids okay so you have a thing eyelids so what is the role of this eyelid so everyone easily know this it's to close and open the eyes okay so you can close the eyes or you can open the eyes okay so using this eyelids okay if there is a huge wind blowing with a lot of dust particles you will immediately close your eyes okay and if you want to uh, see you will like enlarge your eyelids so you can see it in a broader way same you have a thing called a shutter so this mostly is present in a dslr camera okay even some mobile have a thing to shut your camera lens okay so this shutter usually allows the user to adjust the length of time that light enters the camera which controls the amount of light to which the photosensitive surface is exposed okay so shutter you can close it if you open it you can take a image so that is shutter which is similar to your eyelids in your eye so the last part in your eye is retina which is similar to a camera so in retina it detects the light and converts it into a electrical impulse which are sent to the brain so this is uh, like your memory card okay so which is going to convert not exactly the memory card uh, but how to convert and process the image that need to be stored okay so in retina it detects the light converts it into electrical impulse finally it sends to brain so brain is actually your hard disk or what you call like a memory card where all the images that you capture every moment even videos everything are like stored in your brain same if you come to a camera you have a thing called as photosensitive surface so which detects that and records the light which is focused onto it uh, which this can be like a photographic film in olden days or like uh, now in digital camera you have a ccds that is charge coupled devices which converts light into electrical signals which can be stored for example in mobile you have a gallery where all the images are stored where it's like an internal memory of your mobile or sometimes it's like you use a memory card so likewise so you have a, a thing to store your images and videos okay so this is the difference between your eye and camera